about a year ago, I was a vocal coach at a theater about people longstocking. But we couldn't have the premiere at that time because of the pandemic. But the premiere is going to be in one week. So now I'm here again in Sundsvall. Tomorrow I'm going to see a rehearsal and see if I need to correct things or not. It's going to be exciting. First some dinner with my co-writing friend Fredrik. I was a little bit early, so I'm waiting for him. Fredrik just asked me if uh, is there a question coming that I should have been prepared for? Uh, because I wasn't last time. <laughs> you just uh, placed a question right out there, but I, I think I managed. So, is there a question? Maybe. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Here's the rehearsal. I have to be quiet. Now I get to watch this play, and after that, we're going to rehearse the vocal parts. Everyone is good at this. They are professionals, so it's like small details we take all the time. This is a children's play, but we need the contrast and we need the tempo in the songs as well as in the theater play. So that's what we're rehearsing. Bra. 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 Hur kändes det där? Var det kändes det någon annorlunda? För det, det, det blev större uttryck för mig, liksom, sångmässigt. Stor skillnad. Men hur Peter får jag vara? Du ska vara Peter. Alltså, Okej, okay, då petar jag. Eh, jag, tänker mer, jag tänker på lite grann vilken vokalfärg man har. För den gör att vi, det, det låter lite grann, det låter inte kör alltid, utan det låter som enskilda sångare. Och jag tror att det kanske på en sån här låt kan vara fördel om man låter kör. The rehearsal for today is done. It's been all right. Uh, they know what to do and uh, they are good. They are professionals. So now I'm gonna travel home to my city 200 kilometers. Rehearsal in Swedish is repetition. Repetition. Thank you so much for watching. Roger that.